level is with walking. And for walking, we're going to start actually by raising an arm. And that's kind of like your tree branch, okay? You're gonna reach up and feel the connection between the hand and the heels. So tapping your heels and wiggling your toes. So we're really creating a long lever here. And drop into the earth, okay? We know how to be out there. That's where internet land is. We're going for the ground here. So feel the ground with your feet and your toes. Take a step forward and reach. And as if you're screwing your hand into sort of this upper, the upper worlds here, move your arm in a circle and feel your foot drop down to the earth. Take a step back and feel that from the back. Switch arms, we'll do the other foot reach forward, screw the arm, so you get this turning through the shoulder, down through the heel, turn, and feel that heel. You can even bounce up and down, wiggle the toes, so you can also do that and feel your toes, feel the earth, step back, this is the other foot, feel the heel, reach, this is so good for your back and your alignment. Now with your arms down, you should really feel good balance in your feet. So just take a few steps forward and a few steps back and you don't even really need to look at your feet anymore because you can feel with your toes, you can feel with your heel, and you'll notice when you step that your forefoot's going to land first softly, like the wiggle effect, and the heel will then take your weight. This is so good for your knees and it's great for your whole foot. If you've got foot issues, this will help heal your foot. All right, so some final words about foot care and how long you should walk barefoot. I recommend doing these beginning lessons first before you take a long walk barefoot to condition your feet. And then just start with maybe a five minute walk. Start on something easy, grass, and a nice trail like this is pretty easy. You can work up to gravel. Gravel's hard, okay? And wood chips are hard too. It's easy to get splinters if you're not very soft with your feet. Be careful, of course, about glass and hazards in the road. And I brought this foot bath, soaking your feet. Nice to soften the skin. Use a scrub brush, keep those feet clean so you're not getting stuff from the ground that might have bacteria or things that might uh, affect your foot if you've got cuts or anything like that. Keep your feet clean and some kind of lotion or cream for your foot to keep the skin soft so it doesn't crack. In the beginning, walking on the ground can dry your skin out. So make sure you put lotion on in the morning and night often if you have dry skin. That'll make a big difference so you can walk barefoot for a long time without cracking your skin. And finally, carry a pair of flip-flops with you when you walk barefoot. If you come across areas you can't walk barefoot, if it's too rough for your feet, you can throw your flip-flops on and then take them off when it's smoother, easier to walk again. So I really recommend having something like this with you so you can easily put them on. All right, happy walking and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.